Welcome to our live training session. My name is Matt Shell. I'm going to be your trainer today as we learn to create a mini map system. This is a beginner appropriate session. Should be a lot of fun. Uh, just about zero scripting involved. Uh, we're going to learn some cool stuff about cameras, render textures, and UI. So let's take a look at the project that we're going to create. This is the finished project here. And so I'm going to enter play mode. And as you can see, we have these tanks who can shoot at us. And then down here in the lower right corner, we have this lovely circular mini map with a little border that is being updated in real time. Uh, showing the positions of the tanks with a little icon in a flattened uh, orthographic view. And so the uh, AI that we're using here that's currently stuck between the buildings is from our pluggable AI session. So this is also contains the complete version of the pluggable AI and the complete version of the tanks project which if you're curious about either of those tutorials, you can find at unity3d.com slash learn under tutorials, and we've got those there for you. So this is the completed project that we're gonna build. And so what we're gonna do is switch over to our incomplete project here, where we have the completed AI content, the completed tanks content, and then we also have a folder here called Minimap. And this is the content that we're gonna be using for today's session. And so our goals for today's session are, we're going to learn how to use a second camera to render our scene from a different perspective. So. We're going to use a second camera in this case to render a top-down perspective of the scene that's going to be displayed inside our Minimap UI. And so we're going to learn how to display that rendered image in-game using a render texture. And then we're going to learn how to create the UI portion of the Minimap using a mask and an image uh, to display it in the lower right-hand corner of the screen. So there is an asset download for this session. You can download the assets uh, at the link shown on your screen. And those include the content that I just showed you, the completed AI, the completed tanks, uh, and the needed sprites and so on for our session today. So now that we've got a little overview of what we're gonna do and what we're gonna learn, we're going to, in the next section, make our camera that's gonna display our top-down view. 